ladies and gentlemen ladies and gentlemen boys and girls welcome to civic tv your home of infotainment thank you so much guys uh for the love that you've been showing our past videos i think the last two three videos have really got a lot of traction and uh we really appreciate we really appreciate especially for the feedback that you guys have been giving and of course the sharing that you've done to the videos now um some of the feedback of course has been uh bashing us in courts you know why are you doing comparisons of uh, cities why are you doing comparisons of countries like the west africans do so really no bad blood uh we are an infotainment channel and uh, what we do normally is meant for information so as much as we want to entertain you we equally want to inform you so that you know if i'm going to nairobi this is how the environment in nairobi looks like if i'm going to lagos this is how the environment in lagos looks like if i'm going to uh, accra for instance this is how i expect the people to you know receive me they are friendly they are this way they are that way such is what we are doing so basically what we are doing is sharing information so um I really wish to apologize for those who may be are getting offended by our videos but for those that are showing love uh thank you very much thank you so much and uh keep up with the spirit of supporting us so one of the comments that uh we saw in uh uh one of our videos i think the video for accra versus nairobi uh, one of the requests was that oh, can you guys do a comparison of uh, rather comparison of um, Johannesburg versus Nairobi another knows uh, can you do a comparison of Cairo versus Nairobi so I thought why not so not really a comparison but we just want to have an highlight of how does uh, or rather what are the facts uh, the few facts the few issues uh, that we have around Johannesburg and how do the same replicate in Nairobi? Let's say uh, cultural issues, economic issues. You know, we want to look at all those: uh, the strength of uh, the rand versus the shilling, uh, security in those cities, how is the infrastructure in those cities? You know, such like is not really a comparison per se, but we just want to get information. So sit back, relax, and let me take you to Johannesburg. So let's delve into South Africa. Now, one interesting fact is that as much as uh, Johannesburg is the largest city in uh, South Africa, it's not the capital city of South Africa. <laughs> so here, here, here is the gist. So the administrative capital of South Africa is actually Pretoria. And then uh, the legislative capital of South Africa is Cape Town. Whereas the judicial capital is uh, Bloemfontein, if that is the pronunciation. <laughs> of course, now Johannesburg, Durban, Port Elizabeth are some of the other cities in South Africa. So even as we get to um, delve into this aspect of looking at South Africa, you realize that um, the, 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 the city that we are analyzing, that is Johannesburg, is not actually the capital city of South Africa. So that is one thing that is key to note. Whereas Nairobi is the capital city of uh, Kenya, so uh, it's key to note that. Uh, Population-wise, uh, before we delve into deeper numbers, uh, you get to realize that among these cities that I've mentioned, Johannesburg is of course the largest city in terms of population. It has a population of about uh, 5.6 million people. Uh, it's close to the population of Nairobi. And then of course there is Cape Town, it has 4.7 million people, with Durban, that has about 3 million people, with Soweto, 1.6 million people, among others. So uh, basically that's it. But now let's get into the, uh, the, the subject of the video, that is Johannesburg. So let's get to uh, analyze a few facts about uh, Johannesburg. Now one thing about Johannesburg is that... Um, uh, it's one of the it's actually the larger city as i said uh, in south africa and uh, it is a very key economic center in africa you know why <laughs> because this is where a mining of gold takes place so uh, i think that the city came up because of the gold mining so it's 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 uh, one thing that has given south africa 
you know its status at the moment so it's a very it, it's a very key economic hub in south africa not just for mining but also the johannesburg stock exchange i mean this is the largest stock exchange in africa so that gives that city a uh, you know very huge status so anytime you hear uh, johannesburg being mentioned think of the jse that is a johannesburg stock exchange think of gold so economically this is the economic hub of africa not just south africa but africa as a whole because that is the biggest uh, stock exchange market in africa you know the way we mentioned new york stock exchange and we are amazed that is what's happening in uh, south africa so uh, another thing that uh, is key to note so number one is economic uh, being the economic hub of africa but again uh, this particular city has a very rich historical heritage you know uh, it played a big role in south africa's history uh, especially during the apartheid era you remember the time when the likes of uh, mandela were taken in they were arrested they were imprisoned for quite a while all that fight was happening around this place so uh, the apartheid museum actually exists in this particular city of um, Johannesburg we also have the constitution hill uh, in this particular place so anytime you want to now uh, look at historical heritage how south africa got its its independence and all that such kind of heritage can only be found in johannesburg so that is a second uh, factor about uh, johannesburg another thing that is key to note also about this particular city is the diverse art and uh, cultural uh, scene that is available uh why am i saying this you realize that the city has a very vibrant art culture that uh, houses a lot of world-class uh, galleries like the johannesburg art gallery where you get to find a lot of uh, art a lot of uh, historical aspects regarding south africa so uh, and of course there are a number of cultural districts within uh, within johannesburg like uh, maboneng that are filled with street art you know the restaurants the music avenues remember south africa is leading in amapiano and all that so all this happens in not just johannesburg per se but you know much of the much of uh, much of the, the 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 happenings actually do take place in uh, do take place in uh, johannesburg number four uh, when we now mention uh, the aspect of transport infrastructure how is johannesburg doing definitely <laughs> nairobi is nowhere close uh, you realize that johannesburg has one of the most advanced infrastructure systems in africa uh, you know it has the tambo international airport which is one of the busiest airports in africa it has a modern rapid rail system the railway is really very advanced that connects johannesburg to pretoria so it's it's really it's doing very very well and as i said it's the city of gold remember that is where all the mining of gold happens so anytime you're mentioning uh you're mentioning johannesburg that is where uh the the the, the, the history of you realize that the history of johannesburg is actually intertwined with gold mining so the heritage can be explored through attraction of the gold reef city a theme park built uh, from a former gold mine and all that so basically uh, that is it about the city of gold where uh, the johannesburg stock exchange is housed so that's it about uh, johannesburg so can we see how nairobi compares to that before we can check on the similarities and differences of these two cities the reason why I'm stating factors about Nairobi, there is probably someone who is watching this video and maybe hasn't seen the previous videos where we mentioned factors about Nairobi. So I'll do it real quick. One of course is the aspect of being the regional economic power. So Johannesburg is the Africa's powerhouse, <laughs> but then Nairobi is the regional's power. That is East Africa's powerhouse, being the Silicon Savannah, the headquarters of the UN. Uh, a lot of multinational companies, that is, including the UN, they are housed in Nairobi. Financial, political, and technological hub. You know, that's where everything is happening in Nairobi. Of course, we have the Nairobi National Park, which is Nairobi being the only city in the world that has a national park within it. Of course, that's one thing that equally uh 
plays very well about Nairobi besides being the backdrop of the city skyline. And another thing is about the cultural diversity in Nairobi where you realize that uh, a lot of uh, ethnicities uh, are growing in this particular city. And then of course, uh, there is a very huge uh, expatriate community that is growing right now in Nairobi. Uh, because um, we are very welcoming people <laughs> and then of course Nairobi is an ed educational city there are a lot of universities there are a lot of innovation hubs uh, like iHub that are in Nairobi and then of course these are all giving Nairobi that global attention and then of course it's the green city in the sun just like the way we said Johannesburg is the city of gold Nairobi is a green city in the sun of course because not just of uh, in the park but then we have the F karura forest with Uru park the aboretum and all these uh places that give it that status but then now that aside we have mentioned the factors or rather the facts in uh, johannesburg we've mentioned the facts in Nairobi. but then how do these two series kind of uh, compare when you look at uh, the economic comparison, you realize that uh, South Africa's financial center, Johannesburg is larger, more diversified economically because of the mining of gold, of course, finance, manufacturing and other services. And then um, Nairobi, you get that uh, its main focus is on trade, uh, services, technology and all that. And then socially and culturally speaking you realize that uh, johannesburg is more globalized city uh, with a mix of a lot of african european asian cultures and it offers a very vibrant scene ranging from art music and theater but then nairobi you get that it's more uh, most of its culture is uh, you know uh, reflected in food, fashion, music, and all that. And then population-wise, of course, you realize that uh, Nairobi's population is a bit lower. As I said, uh, Johannesburg is about, about uh, 5.7 million people, so close to 6 million right now. Nairobi is getting close to 5 million people, so... Um, Johannesburg has a bigger population to, uh, as compared to Nairobi. Uh, what of tourism? Looking at tourism, you realize that um, there is the apartheid museum that I just talked about, Soweto, of course, and uh, there are a number of things that people get to go to look out for in Johannesburg. But looking at Nairobi as well, of course, there is the park which is the main thing. Uh, so wildlife is the main thing that brings people to Nairobi, of course. So that is it with tourism security uh how secure are these cities uh i unfortunately uh both cities face a bit of crime yeah it has been mentioned that uh you know especially johannesburg it has that reputation of high crime rates but i believe something is being done to ensure that it's safe especially in the tourist districts so the same nairobi there is um uh the, the po police presence has, has been increased lately so uh, i believe it's gonna perform better going forward and then uh maybe finally in terms of culture of course um you realize that uh johannesburg of course was shaped by its apartheid history and modern day economic leadership uh, which has created a lot of uh, dynamic blend of resilience and innovation whereas for nairobi you get that the culture has been uh, shaped by a lot of ethnicities that you have strong influence from traditional kenyan cultures alongside uh, you know modern trends so in conclusion as i said as we introduced the video we are not comparing any city for uh, for you know that we want supremacy or anything we're just looking out for uh, we, we just want us all to know how is this city looking like what are the economic activities there you know that is mainly the reason why we are doing this so uh you are welcome to visit africa you are welcome to visit johannesburg you're welcome to visit nairobi africa is beautiful man thank you so much for watching this video let's look forward to the next one where we'll be now looking at cairo versus nairobi thank you so much bye bye peace out